Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and uh as always you know I always say you know hey this this channel my videos my essence my image is always divinely protected as well as blessed anybody who is you know trying to place ill will on me or you know have any bad vibes or trying to conflict on me it will be turned back back to you on sender but i will be sending love and blessings of healing your way and the videos that i am doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas uh baby it's time to get aggressive with that change if you haven't already yet and it is true you know it is so true um you're going through all these different things into your life and this is at that time where you know, things are being highlighted and trying to get you to understand why certain things is taking place into your life. You know, every day is a challenge. Every day, every day is a test. And, it, you know, it can be, you know, since this uh, Lions portal has been open, it, it's like things are telling you, you know, you're rich in abundance. You know, abundance doesn't always have to be monetary value. It's just about your growth, your healing. Um, different things that are taking place into your life, you know, releasing things that are no longer serving you. And there'll be so many different things that I noticed that when you um, start healing and you start clearing away different things, you're letting go of people that uh, are just not on that vibe with you anymore. You're, you're allowing yourself to not take things personal when people are trying to take a dig at you you know um and a lot of times it can be very hard when you're doing stuff like that but you you have to understand you know i had to be able to allow myself to constantly say do not take it personal do not take it personal you know there's a lot of different things that people are at war with this hard for them you know that is everybody has their imprint of language that they speak with amongst their you know their selves amongst other people to the universe how they see things how they view things how they moving forward and everybody has their universal language and a lot of times it, it can be at war with everything you know take you know blaming everybody not allowing herself to be honest or taking accountability for different things and these are those times where we do not allow ourselves to be little people like that don't allow yourself to talk back you know saying oh well you know they doing this they doing that you have to be able to allow things to you know you have to be able to understand we got to have that tough skin we always have it because there'll be a lot of times where even when I always tell people you know you've been watching my videos for a while and I tell you the more you stay open towards your gift and you know we're not allowing ourselves to be closed fisted you know we're allowing things to be able to flow it'll be good bad happy sad high low dark light all these different things are taking place into your life but this is how we level up this is how we learn this is how we grow you know and allowing ourselves to not be at that that vibration where we're always thinking about the negative on what what people are doing what people are saying but you have to understand you are that person is the deal breaker you are that game changer you are that person that you know your ancestors pick god pick you know your guys pick all these different things the way you're changing things and for that to be like that there's nothing gonna come easy to us you know, and there'll be different times where you can be at peace. And that's, you know, here comes some, you know, BS that's coming into your life. And you're really trying to understand, look, I'm living in my peace. Why is it going to be like, devil don't want you to change. You know, he wants you to be in that person that where you water everything down. He wants you to be that person where you're taking everything personal that people are doing to you and around you. He wants you to be able to see everything that, you know, people are sending towards your way you know is there to attack you and you know and they're winning and God is now allowing different things uh, to take place into your life where you're protected but you have to understand we are all protected and you'll be understanding 
where the more you end up, you know, more you clear away, you become very sensitive. It will be different things you may see, you know, on the news or different things you may see on YouTube or one of your social media sites where it will be certain things that is been done like, okay, somebody's trying to spiritually bot me. And all of a sudden, you, you'll have an image of a person, a name or something like that, and it will be a situation that's coming up. And this is like... You know, it, it's like three different things is happening at that one time. It's allowing you to remember that lesson. Not, not bring it back in, but it's telling you, remember that lesson that that person sent your way. This is how you're learning. This is how you're allowing yourself to flow. These are certain things you no longer need to be able to hold on to. These things are happening for a reason. You know, and that there'll be different, you know, it's just like allowing yourself to release that. You know, pray for that person. You know, there'll be different things where people are, are seeing the growth into you and it's irritating the heck out of their soul. You know, you have to be aggressive with that. No, let me allow myself to not take that personal. Even though it, it can be hurtful. It can be family. It can be close friends. There'll be people that you don't went out your way to help. That you have never did something to those type of people. But you have to understand when you are used to being genuine like that, you know, Things like that, you know, people will be feeling like that you waiting just to pick them at perfect time for you to stab them in their back. And you cannot even mean anything like that. Like, you, you know what it felt like for people to not believe in you. You know what it felt like where people intentionally sent you the wrong direction because they knew that you were about something. You knew you were that come up. You know, you they knew that if you got that right support, that right financial, you know, breakthrough, that you were going to make it to the top. And it's just the fact is there'll be different people that have it in their mind. If I support this person, you know, if I not support this person, it's going to stop what God got coming for them. Or it's going to stop them for what, you know, is in store for them around the corner. No. It ain't even about that. God does not stop doing what he's doing for you when you're allowing yourself to continue to go. And it could be a hurtful situation where you're saying, okay, that person don't want to, you know, that person don't want to support me even though I supported them. Or that person don't want to give me a leeway even when I gave them so many different things. Don't allow your spirit and your character be changed over other people's shortcomings. Okay? And you have to really be, you know, I had to be able to tell myself that because there'll be times where I know I've been there for people. I know I've gave that encouragement. I know how, you know, even when I felt like I was blessed, I'm going to go ahead and bless that other person. That's how you keep getting your blessings. When you have a chance to be ugly towards people and give that and be enraged when you know you're right. Being silent is the best antidote for that. Being silent, be, you know, even when you're right. And it'll, it'll be the difference that people know you're right, but they don't want to admit that. So it's just like when they do that, they'll, you know, bring different drama into your life. And this is at that time where they're saying spirits telling you, keep praying for them. While you praying for you and your come up, you praying for their come up and their healing, you know. Because it'll be you, when, you, when you sit up here and wish people the same thing they wishing on you, all you are going to get that back. And you seeing. You know, you have to really step back and it's not being funny. It's not, you know, taking jabs at nobody. You step back and you see you see what they wished on you and see what they're going through, right? This is at that prime time where you're seeing what those type of, you know, those type of solutions give you permanent problems. Those temporary solutions give you permanent problems. So you have to be able to allow yourself. You, you go into bigger places. You go into higher places. So it's just the fact is you don't have time. Be, you know, that keeps your arms full, that keeps your brain full, that keeps your heart full on different things that's blocking everything that's trying to come towards your way. I had to be able to tell myself that too. Because it's at that point where they're saying be aggressive. Because you're seeing, you know, you, you're seeing different things that's really trying to guide you back to that dark side because you have leveled up so much. And it's at that time where universe is telling you are so much further than you think you are. Just because a lot of times, you know, it, it can be like, oh, I'm putting in this, I'm putting in that, and I'm not seeing results of that. And universe is telling you, keep going, keep going. Because right now, you're in that vibration to where your patience is being constantly tested. Okay? Your belief within yourself, within the universe, within God, within spirit. You know, your family done passed on that keeps, in, you know, that, that, that watches over you. Everything is being tested. You know, your faith within yourself is being tested. And this is at that time that's like keep getting aggressive with it. Because there'll be different times where things is really, you know, God will put just put a struggle right there just to see how you're going to go about it. When you sit up here and say, okay, this is only temporary. You know, and a lot of times 
and you'll not start noticing the changes you're going through. And it'll be different times where, you know, you, you'll sit up here and say, well, tr pretty much a lot of stuff ain't changing. But then it's just like they tell you, this is at that time where you get into a quiet place and you really do some self-assessing, self-reflecting. Okay, if you notice, are, are you going to your friends and complaining and, 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 you know, just really just, I need somebody to talk to. I need somebody to talk to. Are you going to friends? Are you allowing yourself to talk to God? You're talking to spirit. You're talking to, you know, if you got a twin flame, you talking telepathically to them because even that mess is getting intense. And they're telling you, are you allowing yourself to go to a friend? Because it's always good to have a friend in your life, but you have to understand a lot of things are changing. And if you know you're keeping a distance, you know, you, you being very silent on your movement, they're showing you, look at all the changes you're going through. You ain't, you ain't telling people, oh, I'm about to go do this. I'm about to go do that. And even if it's just like I had to learn on, on my own, just because you don't have, you like, you want to see everybody come up. If you know you on that grind, it's on an honest grind. It's not no manipulating, no, no spirit blocking, cop blocking, all that stuff. But I'm talking about really putting in work for that. And you know that you can't have the same mindset that everybody gonna be like that. And I, I say this a lot in my videos. Not everybody got the same heart set as you. Not everybody got that mindset as you. Because there'll be sometimes that people already know you were chosen to be something that you know don't come around a lot. So it'll be a lot of times you trying to wonder why you don't put into excitement and being happy. And it's not like you trying to rub something in people's face. You already know the difference when somebody come out their way. to come and tell you, oh, I got this and this and this and that going on. And you'll be trying to wonder why they, you know, why they coming at me like that. I've always been, you know, happy for them and stuff like that. But there's a lot of times where your growth will just intimidate a lot of people. Your knowledge will intimidate a lot of people. you got to be aggressive with that. A lot of times... Sometimes you got to just keep that mess to yourself. You know, whatever moves you're making, whatever time you're taking for yourself, don't allow when the universe is giving you that time where it's, hey, take a break. This is at that time for you, you, you know, to recalibrate. This is that time for you to recharge. This is that time for you to, you know, reflect. Just really seeing what's going on throughout that week and how much progress you made. What things that you still need to be paying attention to so you can work on that. And when you're allowing yourself, and even when it comes to a, a situation where when I'm telling you spirit has been very heavy, you know, you'll be hearing people say, oh, I've been getting a prophecy of this. Or I've been getting a prophecy of that. Or you trying to understand why, you know, your family despise you. Your people, you know, your friends, is, you know, they'll turn it back on you. You know, all these different things. And you'll be like, whoa. And there'll be different things that you'll be thinking to yourself. And then all of a sudden you'll hear it in a video. You'll hear it in a, um, a, a reading. Or you're hearing it, you know, uh, amongst conversation. And it's showing you, you know confirmation is just like history repeating itself confirmation is repeating itself it's giving you that alignment where you're hearing jackpot you're hearing blessings you're hearing you know breakthroughs you you hearing leveling up you hearing uh you know different it, it, it's just like you know so many intense things is going on where the devil wants you to just start doubting yourself the devil wants you to start doubting god what he got promised for you you know you start seeing more more uh more things is being like resistant towards you and this is at that, that time we, we have to be able to understand the next level is always going that that, that test is going to add more weight on it and it'll be just like why does god keep testing me because he's trying to clear out all those things that is not needed into your life all that mindset that you used to carry for so long needed in your life don't allow yourself to keep kicking yourself from the decisions you made how you allow, uh, allow somebody in and they stabbed you in your back or how you did somebody where you hurt somebody and this is at the time where they're telling you learn from those situations allowing yourself to see even like if you ask somebody for forgiveness then they don't want to forgive you okay well, you allowing yourself to have that peace in your, mark, uh, your heart and allowing yourself to know when you go to sleep, you can have a sound mind when you did that. Even though it may hurt you, that person don't want to forgive you. You know, there'll be different times where it was. It took a little bit longer for you to forgive a lot of different things. Or there'll be different things that'll come up that really hit you on the pit of your soul about what somebody's done to you. And it, it'll, it, it might bring up all these emotions. Because right now they say with these portals open, you're seeing a big, you seeing and feeling a big shift. Like something is, you don't know what it is, is coming around the corner. But 
something coming very fast at you. And there will be different times where there will be a lot of emotions coming up. Or how somebody did you. Or, you know, what, what came into play to put you on this spiritual war uh spiritual war path or you know your spiritual path is taking place you know you're you're opening new doors you know you're doing blessings not for yourself but it is just like opening doors for a lot of people when god is giving you a situation where you can bless yourself he wants you to be able to pass that blessing towards somebody else that's how blessed you keep receiving your blessings even if it's just by giving somebody kindness today just for you allowing yourself to be praying for somebody today just for you allowing yourself to see something Something is coming up and where somebody don't woke up on the wrong side of the bed today and there's a lot of time where there are people just working up on the wrong side of the bed every day you know or different things is coming on because it's just like your 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 uh your gifts are getting a lot more intense where you're seeing a lot of things you're seeing the toxicity that you held in into your heart and your mind your soul where it's clearing out then a lot of different things are starting to show you okay well when you see that now you're seeing another person from their point of view and you may be seeing the things that are festering up and there'll be different times where you can sit up here and think to the enemy if you only knew where your 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 consequences, your choices is really taking you, and you it, it's just like that's not something to laugh about. That's not something to mock it either. And they're telling you, pray for that person, pray for that person, because it's just like don't hold no anger in for that person, no animosity, nothing like that. Because where you're going, you're not gonna need that. That's not gonna have you. You don't want something to hold you in that vibration, and they're showing you that. You know, that's what they're telling you. Be be aggressive with that change. If you ain't got into it yet and you heading towards that, congratulations. If this is putting that com confirmation in your mind where they're saying you have to be speaking better, you have to start thinking better, you start got to start seeing the future better, allowing yourself to, uh, you know, put claim on something that's coming into your life that you really want in your life that's not going to be just an investment for you, but investment for your loved ones. Invest, um, investment for the legacy that you starting off into life where you're changing that, you know, that, that game change. Because it's like, this has been going on for our families for so long. You know, allowing ourselves where you've probably been hurt by your family in so many different ways. Your parents in so many different ways where it just really shook you. And you have to understand, this has been passed on to them. That, that belief the way they did things, how they thought, how they spoke, you know, how they seen things on, uh, this is how we're used to doing it. And now you're getting out of that vibration where, you know what, this is, it, it didn't start with me, but it's going to end with me. And this is the reason why you were chosen for that. When we're going through what we're going through, it's not easy to stay on that good light where you're seeing everything, even the most hardest things that you're going through. A lot of times it's hard for you to see the good. And all that bad that is afflicting in your life every day. That keeps you, you know, in, in constant stress. That keeps you, you know, uh, trying to distract you from what is good coming into your life. Because it's just like you got to understand. You're coming, some, you're coming close to something very, you know, beautiful into your life. So it's like the enemy don't want you to have that. They're using different people that you know that you may have trusted different people that are coming in close to you there may be different people that you done blocked out of your life that's trying to come back like oh wait a minute hold up you know whatever i did it ain't doing enough i gotta come back and you know start wrecking shop on that and all these different things and they're telling you history was repeating itself just come back and see if you learned the lesson the first time or the second time and then you allowing yourself oh let me release that oh you know thank god i caught on to it because a lot of times when certain things that happening is is telling you about lessons that you really need to see it at a deeper different deeper value you know a deeper view into your life these are the things that are making you strong because you are already strong you know if, like i tell people if you ain't got people that's trying to make you doubt if there ain't people out there that's trying to put dirt on your name not putting respect on it and all that stuff because they see that potential in you and they want other people to see you in the same way they see you because you they're threatened by you and you have to understand that. And I'll be telling you know, and I'll, I've said it before. It's like, why if people feel me, uh, fear me, or they're intimidated by me, why do they keep testing me like that? Because they gonna keep doing that because they don't want you to see some. They, they, that devil. You have to understand when we are not when we're dealing with people, we're not dealing with the the actual flesh. We're dealing with that spirit attached to them. There's a lot of different things where you get to that point where you got that gift, you'll start seeing a lot of different stuff hanging around different people. It is it's, it's even coming in dreams where you're seeing stuff and that mess get vivid. You come up, I'm like, I oh, know what 
you know, you wake up like uh, it, it's a WTF moment or a WTH moment. Like, what kind of dream is this going? You see where it, it, it's like there's a a spiritual warfare that's going on, but you're going through a spiritual awakening, and it's a lot of things that's making people stay in that in that loop. You are that person they took out that hamster wheel. You made that choice to stay up out of that hamster wheel because you're seeing going down this repeated cycle is not getting you anywhere. It's not getting them anywhere. But it's just that point where, you know, you try to, you, you want people to wake up, but you can't force them to do that. A lot of times when you, you know, just because that person is like, okay, you, you know, they're doing this and doing that, but I love them and stuff like that. Sometimes you got to love folks from a distance. The distance, especially if universe is giving you so much confirmation that you done cleared your karma, okay, but you still getting tested, you still got to do that because it's just like that hardship or whatever you have gone through, it's like it done cleared it all out. But this is at that time where universe is gonna constantly keep testing you, you know, devil gonna keep testing you, the enemy gonna keep testing you, they want to keep you distracted, they want to keep you in that loop of where their war is, and you, you know, you got to eat. You, you, it's like, uh uh, you want to meet war? I'm eating with peace. You know, and then I'm going to still back away, you know, and allow yourself. Don't be falling for the bait when different things is coming up where people are just trying to take a dig at you, trying to distract you, trying to, you know, you know, work on your nerves, stuff like that. People wake up like, you know, I want to be able to take everybody down with me. And that's sometimes it is sad, but people are in that mindset. And this is at that time like, Dag, I want you to flow with me. I want you to rock with me. But it's just a lot of people are not going to be able to go on that path that you are heading to. And that's the reason why it's just like a lot of times it may remind me of Nip Nipsey Hustle. A lot of times your breakthroughs ain't gonna come through because that dad gonna snake you come in there in there with you. You know that that snake that, that's there. And just because it ain't bit yet, don't mean it's not gonna strike. That's what they always tell you. Be 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 worried of them dad gonna snakes is clearing off because God cutting heads off of all of them. A lot of times you you know where you're heading, he'll start showing you the true intentions of how people are. You know, allow yourself to, you know, it'll be certain times where people are being overly supportive. And if it's like, if there's something in your gut that's just not sitting right, and I don't know what that, that brought me to somebody needed to hear that. If there's somebody being overly supportive and you known in the past where they did some conniving stuff to you. It's because they know that you about to touch on something that's going to be glorious, not just for your life, but many other people's lives. There's going to come in strong connection with you on that path. Let them go. I don't care what it is, because it'll be certain things you be wanting to say. There's certain things that you may be wanting to text them like, hey, I didn't get that text you said you won't give me. Because it wasn't meant for them. They're telling you be quiet, move in silence, keep moving. But allow that person to let go. Because there may be different people that's trying to, oh, I'm here for you and I really want to do. I've seen people like that. And they'll be wondering why. They're just looking to see if somebody going to say something bad, of me, bad about me. They're going to be looking to see if somebody going to type some kind of comment bad about me so they can run with it, so they can finesse on to that. A lot of times people see gravy trains, and they want to be able to do that. And when it's quiet, I mean, it'll get eerily quiet. That mean God working on something with you. There'll be a lot of times like God, why you seeing these different things? God, God already put. He already knew how the mess was gonna unfold the way it's unfolding. And there'll be different times where it's just like you don't. It, it, just because we don't see it, taste it, touch it, smell it, you know, you don't. We don't know what's going on in that spiritual realm. Things are moving a lot faster than we think it is. And they're telling you keep working on you every day. Keep praying for your enemies every day. Keep allowing yourself to wake up in the morning and say, you know, I'm grateful for this, grateful for that. You know, going to sleep. Even if you had a bad day today, it's going to be a day where everything is just not going to be okay. And that's fine. You taking it to God. Don't be taking it to a friend. Don't be taking it to somebody that, you know, your next door neighbor or nothing like that. Because it's just like, I'm not saying that all friends are like that. But it will be certain people that are in your life that is in war with themselves. And it could be something like, oh, you know, my car broke down the day they hoping that you go around the corner it blew up with you in it you know you just don't know because other people are at work with themselves that's why I always tell people you know we speak one on one that's a whole different story but when you start coming up here and start speaking on different things on, on, on you know on the tube of you you know it could be somebody who don't even know you and just because you got peace in your heart and you got peace and prosperity around every corner every door you open you getting blessed with some kind of flourish I'm going to tell you congratulations you leveling up you deserve every good thing that's coming to you plus more the things that you knew 
knew about and the things you didn't even know about. I'm adding that towards your life. But not everybody's going to be that way. There'll be some people like, why she like that? You know, I'll be like that. And you have to understand there are just certain things that's just going to be like that. But that don't mean that you need to stop. You know, and keep smelling them flowers. Keep acknowledging that stuff. You see it. Ooh, okay. Well, it's time for me to go. Or, ooh, okay. You know, you, you already seeing it. They already projecting that energy. You can be about, you know, somebody around the corner. Or, girl, you know this happened. Or, man, you know this. Mm-mm. That, oh, that ain't on top of my lingo. You know, and it's just like, you know, I used to be that way. you like, girl, you know, I, and I, I don't even be in a loop. And I'm just like, God, no, this is going on. You know, and it'd be just like, don't bring yourself into that, that issue. Want to know about what's going on behind everybody's door that's going in. You just worry about what's going on in your circle. You know, in your circle. You know, because a lot of times it's just so many different things that's coming out. And they're just telling you, start being more aggressive with what is taking place into your life. Movements are being made that you have no, 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 no aware awareness of. You know, there will be different things that was supposed to be, you know, trying to take you out last night, trying to make sure you didn't wake up this morning. But God has allowed that, you know, now sign, assign some powerful folks to you because you're powerful. There be different things that you ch just keep on understanding why why people keep placing things on me, why people keep on putting these hexes on me, these black this black magic on me. You have to understand it when it's it, it don't even have touchdown on you. I've had people come to me, oh girl, you seeing spirits and stuff like that? No, not unless it's the ones that's supposed to be getting in touch with me. I got that gift, but it, you know, and I have to be blessed. I can feel when somebody putting something on me, but it's not like I'm, you know, I'm really feeling it. Like, it'll be a spiritual notification. Oh, somebody done put a block on you. Oh, somebody done put a hex of suffering and poverty on you. Or, you know, a, a, a suicidal uh, magic, you know, tied towards you. I'm like, oh, dang, let me show me who did it, you know, all involved, what the situation was, or whatever. And it, it's just like those times I used to really take that mess personal. And it's just like they trying to understand why is the things that they're, they're doing, it's not sticking. It's not going to. It's not going to. And it's going to keep on going with you, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different things that's going to come off. And it's going to go right, it's going to turn right back to center. You ain't even got to worry about those different things. This is where, God, where you're allowing yourself to be, you know, gracious in, in the things that's opening doors for you. Allowing yourself to pray for the different things that's trying to go against you, you know. And it's just like, you know, the devil don't like that. When you want to sit up here and be coming off like that, and it's just like, when you know, this is where, and the Spirit told me to say that. When you know you are so powerful, it's just your words alone can really fold on some things. And you you seen how you you know you done made moves and different things where you were in that dark moment of your life, but where you don't really rip something completely to shreds. Okay, completely to shreds. And you choose not to, and you're like, ooh, God got it. <laughs> you be mad as I don't know what, and you be like, God got it. That's letting you know you know your power well enough alone. You know, be different things is going. You, you don't even know what's protecting you. Just because you got some family members is doing some stuff to you, you have to understand your roots go a lot deeper than that. Because it's like we're all. There's a lot of people going through spiritual warfare where that, them family members are just going. They just being irate or wondering why different things is not hitting that touchdown. I mean, they're going through the trenches and going through the the books with dust on it. On trying to sit up here and make you fold, trying to make you, you know, you be non existent, be docile, and all those other things, and yet you are still protected. You allow yourself to keep going, be aggressive in that change. You are transmuting, you are transcending, you are going further than the goals you have placed upon yourself. You know your words are powerful, but you allow yourself to use powerful words that is going to uplift. You know, allow yourself to keep going where it's going to take you and other people to the next level. Even people that are stuck in that hamster wheel of, of hurt and pain. You allowing yourself to just pray the vibration of peace on these people. We're all needing that right now. You're seeing so many different things. Life is too short. I'm, You know, I'm seeing different things where I got to pray for Ann Haish. I, it was like I felt something in my spirit. It, it was just like, God, dog, things are really going on right now. It, it's where it, it, it's like you being extra sensitive. I'm like, Ugh, I hate being sensitive like that. But it's like God made you that way. Where you feel pain when other people, it, it, it's just like when you're, you're not, 
You know, a lot of times when we see when people's lives are being taken by nonsense, you know, hearing the different things about that chick, you know, from Houston, then I sit up here and took those lives from, you know, uh, uh, the other day on the, um, on the freeway and stuff. I mean, going through rural areas and stuff like that. She didn't just take six souls. You don't took... You know, the families that love those people, that, that had plans for those people, that had, you know, things they were going to do with that day for those people. A lot of times it's just like the world would just shake you up and tell you to wake up. You know, life is too short. We don't have time to be sitting up here, be thinking about the next plot or plan to bring somebody down. You allow yourself to live through those day to days. Even if it's for that moment, let me allow myself to render in peace. I mean, hinder in peace. Or, you know, just it, taking that next level of peace. There ain't no hinder, hinder. But I'm just saying, when you placing good love into this world, because there is just so many different things where, you know, I, like I said, I, I, I see different things on here. And you can't question God when God is ready to allow somebody to go. You're trying to understand. Just like those people that survived that situation. And I mean, it just really upset me when this woman done been through like about 13 different times where she, she done totaled out some cars because of her mental illness. And now it was just at that point where I got angry and then it showed me, oh, this is going to be that deal breaker to where she done got off easy on certain things. Now this is that one where you're going to have to sit with the consequences of what you have done. You know, what you have done to not just yourself, but other people. And it's just the fact is, you know, took yourself from there on family. Now you might ha end up having to spend the rest of your life in a situation because you don't know how to ha handle your anger well. You know, there's a lot of different people where we got mental illness left and right. I done had my di different situations and I had to pray to God because I knew where I was in life where I felt like I've lost everything and ain't no meant for me to sit up here and lose some other more I've seen where that vibration can get you and it was just got like no mm -mm, pull me back pull me back so many times like no this is not where your life gonna be because I felt myself about to do some real dark stuff and that's not something to brag about that's not something to be proud about because I was really about to do that and it was just like that's what the devil wanted me to do because it's just the fact is you got to see God in some kind of where in, in some kind of place in some kind of you know corner hovering over something because you see how the devil is busy he, he too busy out here and that's why God is like still when you try to do some hateful stuff it's always gonna come out good it's always gonna serve some kind of peaceful purpose on different things that's happening in life and this is where they really are allowing change to take place so you allow that change to keep taking place in your life you allow yourself to separate from anything anyone any situation even any thought any verbiage any kind of moment any kind of energy that is no longer serving you because you are so much closer to your destiny than you ever realized so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video i would love to give a post notification shout out to Pernay, the poet much love to you as well as uh brandon dodry much love to you as well if you're new to my channel please you know drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i always leave my contact uh information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking there's a lot of people to get in touch with me and let me know the different things that's going on in terms of life you know trying to under have a deeper understanding about their path of purpose where is it taking them to what is it opening doors for you know i love to be able to do that because we're all student teachers of different things we're learning a lot of things off of each other's experiences you never know what your experience is what story it can really bless somebody to let somebody know hey that person understands what I'm going through. Hey, how did they achieve and overcome the different things that may feel like I'm stagnant and the different things that keep repeating history? You just don't know. So you allow yourself to keep moving still, keep growing, rising above everything that's sent to destroy you and let you know that there's so many beautiful things that's going to open doors for you just because of the things that you have witnessed is because of the things that has touched your life in the most hurtful, you know, dramatic, tra tragic way. So just being able to love to do that, you know, just being able to share different experiences, whatever we speak on is, you know, uh, uh, private, you know, just be, you know, be able to keep that to ourselves and be able to help each other the best way we know how, you know, if you're into podcasts, I also leave those in, in, in my community section in my, uh, in my, uh, channel 
you know, within the channel account, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Y'all, it's been, it's been a long week. <laughs> it's like been gone for a couple of days and can't even get my words right. But it's in the community section if you're, uh, you know, if you love podcasting. And, you know, even get in touch with me if you're interested in, in doing podcasts. And I, I love to be able to help with that. And if you're feeling generous enough to drop a donation, the cash app is there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to open into your life, whatever, you know, God done put on you be able to give you towards that path you're trying to manifest into your fruition whatever you know vibes you're needing i'm sending that a million times full you know you keep going no matter how how slow it's going you keep going because a lot of times it, it could be right around the corner so allow yourself to keep moving in that way allow yourself to be you know resilient you know just keep on going don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know Devil's, devil and the enemy sees your potential, your light, and they want to do any and everything to dim it. They may want you to give up today just because they know your blessings may open tomorrow, so you keep going. Much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say. Namaste. Much love. Peace.